leading up to the time for us coming up to camp um, was difficult because of our flood experience and losing all that control that they were very anxious about wanting to know all the details and potentially thinking it could be the worst thing ever. But it's actually been really, really great for everybody. Lily is like the happiest and like calmest we've seen really for a long time. It feels almost back to when we had a house. Owen is like a new kid. He's been loving all the activities and just coming out of his shell, which I didn't think would actually even happen. And Remy has been going to bed, telling me how excited he is to tell me all the things that he's done, to, he's gonna do the next day in his activities. It's been so great. And it's actually been really good for me. We had to spend some time with Chris because I don't actually get to see him that much because the kids get to have his time when he's not working on the house. So yeah, it's been perfect timing just to take a break and reconnect with the kids and with Marie um, and just get some family time back because it's just been so long um, and so focused on dealing with uh, the aftermath of the flood. I so think next time there'll, there won't be any anxiety about coming to autism camp. They'll be jumping at the chance to, yeah. to come back. I'd just like to say a huge thanks to the James Frizzell's Charitable Foundation and Autism Camps Australia for facilitating us to be able to come to this camp at this difficult time, um, to be part of the pilot program uh, for the Helping Hands. I feel that we are going to be going back to having a more connected family um, and having that cup filled enough to be able to get through the next stages that we have to get through. So I really, yeah, I, I didn't come in with high expectations, but I'm leaving with a lot, with it being very, very full, um, over, overflowing really, of like how great it's been and how great it's gonna be for our family.